on the east side of the river. <laughs> oh, Ben, oh, he's gone, he's gone out school. It looks great, but if someone gets hurt, it's not worth it. Oh, oh, the lads have brought any spare pair of clothes. I'm positive. Sorry, Army, London bike tour. Welcome back to another Monday. Lots of new spots in London. We're we'll touring around on bikes, and um, we've got one crazy spot towards the end of the day where some of us might be getting wet, swaggy. Yeah, all run over. This is lovely. What a life on my e-bicycle in London. Callum is just trying to flex on us. Callum, for some reason, has chosen to do today's bike tour on a non-electric bike. I'm not sure why. Well, the whole thing is I think e-bikes are just cheating and it's a sense of superiority, really. No, I got to the station with two minutes to spare before getting the train and I panicked and brought my bike. That was it, <laughs> pretty much. Hell. I swear these are quite sketchy. Yeah, they're definitely a bit weird. Like the acceleration is like way more powerful than you kind of know. You put a little bit of gas in it before you know if you're zooming about. Monument, that's it. Is that monument? No. Ah. <laughs> Old bullshit with some gold butt plug at the top. <laughs> Uh -huh. Stop number one. We just parked up the bikes. Got some nice dry walls over here. Look at this. It's actually a pretty wet day, but I feel like this area is fairly dry. Nice looking walls, nice looking rails. Droopy rail breeze. Good thing about rails is they're the quickest to dry up out of all materials. Glad Ben scouted this already, or that journey we just did would have taken two hours, the amount of potential spots. London's insane for that. You'd think you could say the same about any big city, but it's just not the case. London is packed with street side bits. And I think they often all get ignored. The big spots where like loads of people can train are so good that you just go to those first. Look at this shit. It's a beauty. It's good to be outside this week. Lovely to see the nine million wrap up. Great edit by Keelan, but we were sitting down in Side, so not ideal but we out here drying rails warming up steady on this as well we had the blue pants but not the jacket that's in stock now soon come Just a little tip for you fellow criminals. Sometimes a warning anti-climbing paint sign does not mean there's always anti-climbing paint sign. That, uh, yeah, you get me. Oh my God. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Cause like, it's so dusty on the ground as yeah. well. I don't even want to like accelerate hard. The back end of this lovely little sequence is a droppy rail brie. It's hard to go from like a, a big Two footed jump, then straight down. Yeah, you just gotta like fold off this. Knee shoot yeah, down. just fold it down. Nice. Oh shit! Oh. You alright? Yeah. F***ing elbow here. Elbow? Oh. On the rail? Or the ground? On the ground. Why did I bounce that so heavy? So early in the day as well. Was it a slip or a bounce? No, I just heavily bounced it. Mm. We went to training. Oh man, too early in the day for this. Miners, nothing like a nice little friendly bale to warm you up for a day of training. But yeah, I'm awake now, very alive to the concrete around me. It feels so horrible. It's just like cramp. committing to like that such a claustrophobic thing and then just like pulling Pulling. here. I'm just scared to accelerate as well, just because I feel like any rapid acceleration on the dusty run up is oh, really? yeah. Yeah. gonna mess me up. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, there we are. Nice. Okay, top level. Off the bat. Nope, not I've off done, the bat. I've done seconds at to top. Seconds to top. Nice. Yes. You'll land that really nicely out the plier. If I can get the right like body position. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It comes kind of the full line. It's gonna finish on the railing at the end. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Settle down! Settle down, Wobble Boy! Settle down! I'm gonna take that as a success. Slip to heel stick is, uh, I'm gonna make that my new thing. Slippery. Whoa. 
Ooh. There we go. Which one is it? Pow pow. Oh, glue. Glue. So, I mean, I want to try this hanging descent into there. Ping off pre plyo. I don't know if there's anywhere to practice the hang descent drop, to be honest. So, I might just have to go for it, which is a little bit daunting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is so slow and controlled. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice, nice. Oh. oh, and the pigeons are going wild. Ah, yeah, yes. Nice. And the pigeons are going wild. Oh. Right, we're setting up a little static because everyone wants to try it and nobody wants to fill. Ooh, okay, okay, go. Textbook, what's the full loop? Start from the black rail, wall to wall, black post to black gate, black gate from lamp post to lamp post. You know to the lamp. rest. Yeah. Nice. Rest. Let's go. No touchdown. I was looking through the GoPro, you didn't touch the floor. No, I didn't, technically. <laughs> <laughs> He's made it, in the end. Unlucky. Oh, nice, Bob. Oh, bad. I rolled it, but it wasn't under any impact, but it was horrible. Oh. All right, first spot complete. That was actually quite enjoyable. Been wanting to train that spot for like three years now. Stop number one, that's a good warm up. What are you saying? We are on, we are on East London, east side of the river. <laughs> You get it's it. Cruising about. We we'll do some parkour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Sick. Any about. any wise words for the kids at um, home? Don't don't speed because these are the letters oh, you're gonna have to. These are the mate. letters you're gonna have to pay for. So it's not license anyway. So who cares, isn't it? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Show us what you got. Toby recycled past and he's like, boys, I have to stop. And he's taping up now. <laughs> What's on? What's on? Look at this. <laughs> 
This is a good brick spot classic, but London edition. And then the entrance. Love cat pass. Pass. That has a Toby built wall oh, cat pass that. There's a lot of spots like we'll all ride past. We did it on the way here. Like you spot something you quite like and yeah. you peel off, but feel the energy of the group. This one I'll happily be selfish yeah. about. I'm definitely stopping for that. If you've been hunting for a challenge like this, it's a defo stop. So Ooh. Jeez, I don't think I've ever that. seen Oof. that. I think Toby, if anyone could do it, it's Toby. Yeah. Are you just thinking about standing arm jump or cat pass or both? Cat pass, yeah. Oh, it's actually more. easier at cat pass. Less downward. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah more yeah. direct. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what it is? The top of it slants down and it's mm. plastic. Mm. Oh, yes, Callum. Yeah. Oh! Callum, come on! Yeah, it's, it's fine. The arm jump is big, actually, really big. You're good at those, Callum. Big arm jump yeah, to 180 sticks. Nice. Oh. Ah, snaked on the flash stick. It felt a bit weird that, like, do you know when your hands are like further out from the wall? Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. Yes. Yes. That is a great size for a stick, I'm not gonna lie. Boys, flashed it, flashed it. I feel like I've let you down on the hat trick of flashes there. I was so. Yeah. Oh. Oh, mate, that's a Makesh stick. Give it to me. It's a Makesh stick. <laughs> PK all day. I'm always surprised by my hat coming off on the front. <laughs> it always puts me. Swaggy staying quiet over here with his gloves on. He's working hard. Working hard on his. Um, you ready for me? Ones. Look like I'm about to do 12 rounds of fucking on back. Oh, more time. <laughs> could be up to 12 rounds, potentially. This yeah, looks hard. Not dead. Not really dead. Really not. With this, like, I'll, get, I'll hit the wall fine. Uh, the distance, surely. Yeah. It's just the accuracy yeah. I yeah. found out from the stuff with Pete. Like, like trying to. Yeah, the amount of times you're it. right there and ready, and then you just like punch the corner yeah. or like fumble it inside. And, it must like, be quite dangerous for your fingers, to be fair. Like, at the. Yeah, well, I, I guess if you this. just keep them sort I, of I like. Sort of yeah. Karate yeah. chop. Karate yeah, chop in. Rough, rough oh the, my god. Yeah. He's trying to slot in here from afar. That is actually not that wide, you know. Like. Just go straight. So I'm not... uh, right. Yeah. Slight angle. Slight angle. This would be straight. Easier to kind of like slot your hands in. Coming at an angle, it means it's still doable, but just a little bit harder for him. Oh! Oh! Yeah, she needs to be a bit higher up. Did, yeah. anyone, did everyone know he was doing the con? Yeah, yeah, I asked him first thing. Yeah. The king of cat passes it's himself. It's actually easier with the... Yeah. yeah. You don't have to come down. down yeah, it's direct, accurate. Oh! It's been, it's been confident enough to engage really fast. Sometimes you get it good. And then you, you engage too late. Yeah. You, know, you, <laughs> hesitate. you don't need to engage with an arm jump. Your hand just hits the top and yeah. instinct yeah. holds on. Is this, you go in and instinct doesn't do this. Yeah. You have to do it consciously. Yeah. Like, it mm. takes a few times to get it kind of natural. Believe it or not, this is actually a parkour MBD. If you've seen anyone do this before, you've got to let us know because we think it's an MBD. Really? You coming in again? Not the best. Yeah, doing really well though. Bobby Dazzler yeah. back again. That only is got it properly with one hand. How many rounds is that? Four. Four, Four. five. I'll take that all day long. Yeah, yeah. Mate, that's a uh, PK MBD. I'm playing how much of a dream find that is. Yeah, that's so good. I, honestly, I, just, I stopped even looking. I was like, yeah. you can't you can't look for it. Do you know what I mean? See, if it turns up, it turns it up. It finds you. What a yeah. ridiculously specific setup. Oh my God. Hey, that was class. Well played, man. Right. Toby's starting off a trend with this stuff as well. There's other like parkour slash climber kind of people, parkour Chris. Chris Edwards, that's his name. Mom. Yes! <laughs> Alex Norden as well. Oh. <laughs> so if you're watching this and you like what Toby's just did, give it a go. It could develop this movement a little bit more, you know? Oh, it's big. 
Oh, yes, Callum. Yes. Moving on, on to the next spot. Back on our humble electric steeds. Steeds? I mean, made it to the next spot. Here we go. Lovely little location. I think I've seen it in videos before, but never actually trained it. Look at this. Go on. Oh, nice. Yeah. And Callum has completed the line and he is pleased, if anything, elated. He looks slightly disgruntled. Perhaps he's going to go again. No, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine, he exclaims, and then proceeds to lock eyes on his next challenge. <laughs> he wipes his shoes again. Off the rail, up to the top. Oh. He f***ed up the climb up. <laughs> the look of despair on this man's face. <laughs> Oh, yes. Little roll there. Oh! We're just making a little video for YouTube, actually. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to be in it? What for? I don't know, just say words of wisdom to the kids and that. I'll just get on with it. Don't break your neck. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Nice, mate. Get on with it. Don't break your neck. Challenges standing from here, speed step down to this wall. Don't get too high over it, you've got to stay low and yeah, like. Yeah, like real direct. Just yeah. Speed step and you'll be there. The blind one, because when you're on this takeoff, you can't see this wall. Yeah, so. Tough. Yeah. What do you think of that then, boss man? It's crazy, man. What they're doing, man, it's crazy, man. You got any words of wisdom for the kids watching? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't try. You could do that, can you? Nah, man. Nah. I'm too old for that, man. <laughs> too old, bro. <laughs> how, how old do you think he is? This guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. Probably about 30 plus. Yeah. He's 32, I think. See? See, good guess. It's, it's never too old, mate. It's never too old. Hey, 50. 50? Yeah. You're looking amazing, mate. Yeah. Wow. What, what's your skincare routine? Come on. How do you oh, look so good? You see? All the, all the grey hair, everything, man. I yeah. hope I look as good as you when I'm 50. Oh, no, I hope so, man. Just keep eating healthy, man, but I don't eat healthy. I let it go, man, as you see, man. Life's you tough, isn't it? Life is tough, man. Yeah, man. Working hard, eating all this shit, man, that's it. You just got to enjoy life sometimes, yeah, Absolutely, you know? man, absolutely. Have a little aero yogurt. Uh, absolutely, man. Have a little chocolate bar on the weekend. Uh, no, no, not the chocolate, take the chocolate <laughs> off, man. Yeah, you can follow me. Brasa positive energy. That's where you're going to see me. All right. What kind of YouTube videos do you do? I just do all the positive. That's oh, why really? I just record it now. There you go. The positive stuff. Mate, that's a great YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah. Brass up, positive energy. I'll check it out, mate. And everybody in this video will check it out as well. Check, check it, it out. out. Listen, subscribe. Let's help him, man. Subscribe. Like, come yeah, on, yeah, help come this guy on, out. You need to help me out, man. That's why I stopped now to record and just to show what these guys are doing. What you guys are doing and the energy you put in. Everything you point is amazing, man. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, nice nice to meet you. What was your nice name? Suit. Yeah, Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, nice to meet you. Peace. Bro, yeah. So I want to come running along here, and it's a weird run up, but then speed step down to here, and then like pass off there. I give one a go now. Yes. Nice. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. I'm bro. Got a fan over here. Well done, mate. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Listen, keep doing, man. You're entertaining people. Nine million. That's what you got, man. Nice. I hope you get 50 million. Yeah. That's your next target, man. Come on. Be positive. Yes. My positive dude. energy. That one makes up. <clears throat> love that. Positive energy. Positive energy. We love it. Take care, mate. If you're not subscribed, be like Mohammed and subscribe. 10 million is our goal, but he set us, what was that? 50 million. <laughs> ah! Sorry. <laughs> Look at that. All right, we've got a very interesting spot coming up next. I don't think I've ever seen anyone train it. Kind of consequential over water, over the River Thames as well. So like the dirtiest water of all time. Going right here. Uh -huh. Right here. Yeah. Corner shot motor. I'm going to be judged for that. Sure. Is it too late yeah, for double espresso? Mm. What time is it? Jimmy's are doing... What's that? Strong. Nah, 
Calum. You're going to know Calum loves beer. Sasser's not with us today because he had a he had an operation recently. But for Sasha, Lukey, <laughs> I will go for a Lipton's iced tea, but I don't have any. Actually, swap out. Sorry, Sasha. Sorry, going for the mango iced tea. That one's for Sash though. Ooh, wavy drinks. What's going on back here? Absolutely mental. What do you reckon there? Mammals test. <laughs> Mammals test. £1.89. That is apple rounds. Oh, six. six. Oh, that's a whole different. Mm. Didn't look at the side profile of them. I'm going to get them anyway. I'm stalling. I don't know what I want. Chickpeas. Rounds. Central. <laughs> here we go. Oh, the tide, the tide is in at the moment, so this makes this spot even gnarlier. Look at this spot. What the hell? You ever seen this before, London community? Second to last uh, stop of the day. We've got a uh, little water challenge arena. Not the water challenge for the end. Save that for the last spot of the day. But um, yeah, let's see what we've got here. Oh yeah, and the tide is in. Yeah, like yeah I, it's, it's not good. Outside. We can't do anything over the water right now. You see how high it comes up though? Like it comes up really high. That'll be really shallow right now. It's a very unique spot. We go to lots of wall spots and other things and like this spot is so different. I, I feel I've got a good vibe about it. Help, Help him! him. Christ. Help him! He's insane. He's lost his freaking mind. Uh -huh. Hey, hey. One, two. Uh. Take time to review the mission. It moves quick, don't be caught by the pace of it. Don't take my advice, I'm not the stabilist. You said you were Greek, don't take the piss. Saw money falling from the tree, I tried to rake it in. Put in over time, but no the light. What do you want to do, Toby? I think you get to the top of it. I don't know. Getting over black. Careful not to let the hate control your life. Oh, yeah, of course. Don't look down. Oh, that's a good mental game, though. It's like to get to there is so easy. It's just scary. Starting to wobble a little bit. Mate, the further you go up, the dustier it gets. Pretty much as easy as climbing a ladder. A little bit more balance required, but like physically. Physically, just yeah. as easy as climbing a ladder. And probably a lot of the ladders we've climbed up more unsafe than this, yeah, like yeah. more likely to break. At least go up and see the joining that I was talking about. So I got up to this point here and noticed that the bars changed to another bar and inside there has like a tiny bit of rust. Enough to be like, I'll come down. Like even if it does snap, it has to snap at the base at the top for it to be a problem. That's a flipping scene and a half that. I see what you mean though. Yeah. Ratty looking, isn't it? Ratty, yeah. Ratty looking. Woo! Sake. So easy, but so. Blue. Yeah. I'm not like shitting out there. No, no, when you're. But it's almost worse watching other people doing it than doing it. You know what I mean? How far are we? What's that? That is, um, that's like easily two thirds. Over halfway for sure. I want to like say I'm going to the top like this one. Yeah, I just want to yeah. like it's too much pressure. I just want to like go up again. It is fun. It is fine. No pressure to the top, and if I don't feel it, I don't feel it. If this I want to keep going, I'll keep going. This sort of thing, I think you go, you can just find yourself in in a mode, and suddenly it's more relaxed than it was on the previous. Like if I'd just done it to the top, then you'd probably feel way more chill about just doing it this time. What do you guys think of that then? I think it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, I'm here from Rome just to oh. say this show. Grazie mille. <laughs> Ciao. Dove è il bagno, per favore? <laughs> That's all I know in Italian, sorry. Ciao, bello. Ciao, grazie. What, what do you think of that? Well, I think, I think it's dangerous. <laughs> it is definitely dangerous, isn't it? It looks great, but if someone gets hurt, like there's really a chance one in a hundred of getting hurt, it's not worth it. The moment it's you a hurt, fair point. When you hurt your back, you hurt it for life. I know. And I've seen enough people with bad backs. I, I guess the thing is, he thinks it is worth it. What do you get out of it? 
It's, it's a good question. Toby, what do you get out of doing that? This one in particular, like, we can't, we can't fall off. Might sound crazy to say the, the risk is lower than it looks. We can't yeah. fall off, so then it's just this, like, it's physical and mental challenge, and when you, when you overcome it, you feel like... Do you guys do it all the time? Are you kind of, like, doing yeah. parkour? Yeah, we've been doing this for, like, 17 years, something like that. Really? Quite a long time. Can you imagine this, this uh, mummy doing that, Pippin? No, I can't. I can't imagine it, sis. <laughs> the biggest risk you've ever taken? I've ever taken. I suppose it was with my moped and I started, you start overtaking and you start doing things like that and then I had a bike accident totally unrelated and I just basically after that I just stopped riding a moped as well. Fair enough. Appreciate it. I hope you guys keep safe. Have a great Thank one. you. Appreciate it. If you ask a question like that and they answer it like you can see she's in her own bubble of experience and what she believes mm. and you can just let them put it out then you have no input just let them say it and then just walk off yeah of course it's you're kind of interesting you're never going to gonna win the argument it's just interesting that she can't see the value of achieving it so it's like why would you risk that then it's yeah. like fair enough yeah, yeah. that's that's most of parkour though is you think it is worth it and that's yeah. why you're doing it Let's go. Come on. Oh, bench. Oh, he's gone. He's gone old school. He's in Moldova. Moldova. <laughs> Yes, Ben. Come on. Take that, mate. Take it. Take it. Yes, mate. <laughs> Was it worth it? How How do you feel now? Like, do you feel good? <sighs> Give me a second. <laughs> oh, Havana. Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> hey, yeah, that there was a go. nice little buzz on the arms as well on the way down. Thank there you very go. much for the woman to spur me on. <laughs> she questioned us and it made me spur me on a little yeah, bit more. <laughs> how do you feel now you haven't done it? I'm glad one of us did it. <laughs> yeah, that's weird how that works, isn't I was it? Like, he, <laughs> when he gets to the top, I reckon I'll, I'll have the boost, but I don't have it. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. On to the last spot of the day. We had to ditch the bikes because uh, this is a no park zone, so uh, we're on foot for the last challenge, but just saving the best to last. Wait for this one. Oh. <laughs> this is like a, a normal training day. No one really knew that a water challenge was at the end, so the lads haven't brought any spare pair of clothes or shoes. <laughs> uh, you're the only one with a spare pair of shoes, so it looks like you're going first. Lucky enough, you can actually prep over the concrete, so you, like when there's a prep there, you can realise if you can do it or not. Here's the little shimmy. Oh, there's people in the boat as well. You know how you did in Stratford where you like 180? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, people who live on boats must be cool, right? They live on water, aka water is the G-O-D as f No. I think they're losers. Yeah, and then they let go. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, they're losers. Josh, what do you think about people who live on water? Cool. I mean, if you can do that, get away with it. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems a bit harsh. Yeah. But like, it seems a bit long. Like, it'll yeah, get a bit boring I after agree. a while. Just the constant movement. I think it's one, one of those things like van life where people are kind of like, yeah, yeah, it's amazing, it's amazing. And it's like, yeah, I'm sure it is for like a month. And then, and then after good. that, you just want some plumbing. <laughs> some plumbing. <laughs> I can see, the, I'm more on van life than water life. I think I could do water for like a week. You're not Maybe. really the person to ask. Nah. Have you seen those houseboats in Amsterdam though? So sick, so expensive as well, apparently. Yeah, mega yacht. They have to poo in buckets, I think. And then eat it. one hand on the other side. That was, that was really good. The hard bit is just getting out there. You have to shimmy out. Yeah. Your arms are going to be dead, then you've got to hit the 180. And you actually have to shimmy, yeah, up, shimmy yeah. over that way. Unless we have like a little friendly conversation. Hello, lovely boat. Are you yachting or...? We do parkour and we want to shimmy underneath this bridge. Okay. What we were thinking about going over your boat. Like, you know, like hanging shimmy kind Those of thing. Be, uh, going over it but oh. not touching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Just thought we'd let you know. It's like yeah. one of those awkward situations where... Yeah. 
Yeah. If you okay. don't want us to do it, that's fine. We won't do it. But if it's... No, you can do it. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. I mean, what would you be the worst case scenario if you fall from there onto there? You, you, you would like never fall there. Yeah. The worst case scenario is you go in the water, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what a lovely man. That's sick. You know, I've always respected people that live on boats. Lovely people. Oh, off is the this... grid and the other stuff that he said. Fucking bucket pooing vegan. <laughs> Definitely very end of the day vibes, so uh, commendable to anybody who's looking to give this a go. Definitely not me. Scared of going in the water, don't want to do it, end of the day, looks really hard. Not going to do it. Callum's trying to be funny from over the other side of the river, but it really doesn't translate. Zoom in on this Zoom in, make it pixelated to shit. Like zoom right in this little face. Smile. We have hyped up this spot throughout the day, so it'd be rude not yeah. to give it a go, really. Yeah. I think Benj is going to go for the climb down now, and then the, the 180 transfer. What are you saying, Swag? from top. Yeah. I mean, it might be all you, mate. Yeah. Last time I did a thing to a girder, f my finger again. This is what I'm worried about as well. My uh, dislocated finger on these sharp girder edges really hurt, so yeah, really it might just be Benj here, uh, if he can get it done for the squad. Right, it's only water at the end of the day. <laughs> Four foot deep water. No, no uh, spare pair of shoes? Nope. No spare pair of trousers? Nope. No spare pair of socks? Nope. No spare pair of anything. Let's go. For the squad. My forearms after the climbing earlier. Uh, wasn't that bad. Kind of yeah. easy. Nice. Yes. There we go. So sick.